Hello and welcome to another video update. So, as you can see, you can't see my lovely smiling face this time. I just thought I'd try something a little bit different. Because, yeah, I never really do much <laughs> with my emotions or anything like that. I mean, you just see me showing the videos, showing the Blu-rays, the uh, cases, the DVDs, all that lot. So I thought this way it's kind of just the same, but maybe get a little bit of a better look of what I've been buying and if it's anything special I can kind of open it up so you can see it. But anyway, there's um this is the last couple of months, so I'll just jump into it. And I think I'll start off with the uh the DVDs. So on um where was it? It was eBay. There was a bit of a steal on and you had the Masters of Horror series and these are like two ninety nine each with delivery. But there's only two sets. The first one is here. So we get the Masters of Volume Series 2, Volume 1. So there's all the bits and pieces on here. This is a little bit different with these cases, as you can see. It's kind of a little bit easier to kind of look after these ones in this nice sturdy case. So there was this one. And also Series 1, Volume 2, which I've not opened yet, but it's just the same. Uh, so these were two ninety nine each, like I said, with free delivery. So I thought I'll check out the other ones. So there's this one, which is Series 2, Volume 2. Now that one's fairly easy-ish to find, not too expensive, but for some reason, this one has become very expensive to buy. I was lucky I won this on eBay, <laughs> another bit actually, a yeah, different one, it's like £10. But it's the, as you can see, it's the, the harder box so when you open this one up. There's loads and bits and pieces to this, I'm not going to go all through that now. So it's very cool, but I kind of prefer the other cases, but I'm not kind of groaning about that too much, moaning. Because I'm just happy to have that, because I thought... I was going to have a bit of problems buying it. But anyway, I will jump on and get that last one, Series 2, Volume 2, at some point soon. So now I'll just jump through random DVDs. I'll just bring them a little closer. So I'll start off with a Synapse Out in the Wild DVD. And this is one, well, this is a theme with these videos that I haven't actually seen a lot of them. I go through stages of sometimes buying lots of things I I know and I've seen and other times of buying things I don't know so much and obviously heard lots about this one and thought right it's about time I get it and this was like five euros <laughs> this is very cool little product catalogue from 2014 nice <laughs> not taking the pee too much but I don't think Synapse have done too many of the films that they can add to that in such a long period of time. We know they're a little slow putting some things out lately, but when they do put stuff out, it's very, very high quality. So the next three are just, uh, oh, these are some birthday presents from my sister-in-law, uh, Nicholas Winding Wren, uh, Mads Nicholson's Valhalla Rising. Maybe one of the Winding Wren's not so well known films, but pretty good film. I enjoyed that one. Stoker. I know quite a bit about this, although I've still not watched it. I should get my button to go and do that. And this one, I don't really know anything about. It's even though it's like a Vera Farmiga and Sam Rockwell. This one seems to slip me by. If it's any good, drop me a comment and just let me know. Or if it's one I should avoid, but I shouldn't really avoid it. My sister-in-law bought it, so I should watch it. And then another two uh, from my buddy Marco. So we got for our art exploitation. We got hidden in the woods. Whoops. So there we go. Oh, it's actually got a jewel cover. This one. So let me slide that out. Okay. Let's do the one. Uh, I think this is a South American flick. Obviously there's a few South American, extreme South American films coming out at the moment and I think this is another one of the same ilk. So I'll look forward to that one, still not seeing that one. And Believers, 
I've not, not actually heard of this one, but I've read about it and it sounds pretty cool. So again, I should get my butt into gear and start watching these films. Thanks again, buddy, Marco. Appreciate that. I will jump into this, some Leprechaun Returns. I've not seen it, obviously. The, <laughs> the theme with this whole video is going to be pretty much lots of non-seen films. But what was quite cool when I bought this, did you actually get the first one? I don't own any of the Leprechaun films. I have seen it, but it'd be pretty cool to check it out again. And I look forward to seeing this new one. Heard lots of good things, so it should be fun. And then we have a few. These are all like one pound replay discs, but they're all in fantastic condition, but for a pound. So you got the Wes Anderson, probably my favorite, the Grand Budapest Hotel, his films. Stunning looking film, really, really good fun. And I couldn't remember if I had this in the extended cut or if it's the normal one. I haven't even looked through for it yet, but oh, it's a pound if I have it, oh well. I'll give it away to someone. And then because Body Bags, Bags has been doing the the, the, the last theme reapers or uh, Scarecrow Week. Uh, I saw this in there. Uh, is this the one that actually got covered? I think maybe it was it. What? Rob that covered Scarecrow? Was it the original Scarecrow? I don't even know. I just saw this. Saw the cover and thought it's a pound. I'll pick it up. Uh... And actually, sorry, I should mention all these are from my trip to the UK. I'd been on holiday and I just came back. That's why I'm showing all these off now. So there's another shop called CEX and they do like really cheap like stuff. Well, sometimes it's really silly expensive prices, but a lot of the time they're quite cheap and their DVDs are always cheap. But the classic falling down. For some reason, I did not own that film. Sacrilegious. I'm not seeing this one, but I heard it's a lot of fun. We have Spring Breakers. No idea why I've not seen this one yet. I love the original. So it's the sequel, Train Spotting 2, T2. I heard lots of good things about this one. So I thought I should really pick this one up and check it out. So you have some Southern Comfort. And from hearing lots of good things, to hearing lots of bad things. The shitty jigsaw. But 50p, come on. It's gotta be worth 50p, right? Please, hopefully. <laughs> and then, oh, I heard mixed stuff. It sounds, I think it'll be a, a bit of fun, this one. So I've got the Predator, the new one. Let's see how that is. And the last of the DVDs, we have what? Quite a underrated film, and a lot of people really like this one. And again, 50 pence. Come on, the Amityville 2 possession. So, there we go. So, there's the DVDs, and now I'm going to jump into some blues. Right, so there's a bit of a sale on a couple of websites. Um, one was Zoom and another one was actually the uh, 101 website themselves. So what I got from the 101 website was the complete Nemesis box set, which is pretty cool. So we open this up, so it's nice that it's one disc for each film. Don't know what the extras are or anything like that. Uh, this was, I think it was six or seven pounds for all of these. So even if it's just the movies, I think that should be pretty good. And for what I've got a few 101 films now, and they're pretty good quality, so I'm kind of fairly confident this would be quite a good set. And then the other film I got from them was Tarantula. Can't <laughs> put on a spider kick at the moment, got arachnophobia a few months ago. And another film that we'll be talking about fairly soon. Let's open this up to the Tarantula set. Comes with a pretty cool poster, and you yeah, it's a bit of a shame it's got a slight nick to it. I don't think this is one I'll be putting up because my wife is petrified of spiders, so that's yeah, pretty cool though. Retro poster, I like that. Actually, I have to say, I really like the artwork on this one. And then let's see, 
kind of reverse pull art. Not really reverse pull art, but they're just, it can be, but really cool. Really like that. And this was um, six quid or something, five, six quid. So yeah, really happy to have that. Nice set, just a Blu-ray DVD combo. Yeah, happy with that. And then just some basic DVDs. Kind of pointless slip when the artwork is exactly the same. I don't really see the point of that, it just came with a slip. But this was one pound, so I was like, kind of half. I've seen it, but I was only kind of half really paying attention. I need to give it another go, because it, it seemed decent. So I will jump back into that one. I really didn't like the first one. And there's loads of spin-off ones. I actually started watching one. It was on Netflix a few, maybe a couple of years ago now, and it's just an awful, really, really awful one. <laughs> but th this was seemed pretty good. And then these were like, um, I think three or four quid each, mom and dad. And it's just basically universal Blu-ray. And the same here, another basic Blu-ray uh, from Universal, better watch out. Heard good things about both. So let's see. The next pile, so again from that CEX place, it's cheap, two pound. I've not really heard a lot of cool stuff, but I got the, um, it's the trilogy set, kind of cheap. I think my last trip to the UK. And then, so when I saw this one, it's like, well, why not just make this set? I've still only seen the first one and it was okay. I like the idea and the concept, but the execution wasn't all that good, but we'll see how we get on with this. And then next we have, yeah, the Halloween and Halloween 2 theatrical cuts, uh, which I hear are the best cuts. I, I have them on DVD and I can't remember, I think, the first one might be the uncut version. And this, I'm not sure with Halloween 2. I have no idea which DVD version that is. But I saw this and this was like 7 euros or something. I thought I'd pick it up. I think Alliance, is this is like a Canadian company or something? Did I mention? Ugh, Weinstein. Yeah, not good. But I think the inside has um, all the same. But you can't see that. But it's in French. Ah, oh well. And then we jump on to, heard lots of good things about this one. Uh, obviously the 22 Shots podcast stumbled upon a, was it 22 Shots for Exploding Heads? Someone stumbled upon quite a big plot hole. But I still don't know a lot about the film. I kind of managed to not listen to too much when it's talked about. So I'll look forward to seeing, to listening to that one. I had a scroll up with Amazon, so this was actually, they gave me some credit notes and this was a freebie. So, super cool. And then, oh, another cheap one. I think this was from that Zoom set as well, actually. This is like four pound, King Kong versus Godzilla. How much of the wrong way around is that? Should be Godzilla versus King Kong, surely. But yeah, I need to pick up the speed now and stop. I'd like to get as many Godzilla films as I can. I know some are quite out of print, but we'll see what I can do. So next, I had this already, Intruder. And I know I was saying about the slips are a bit pointless when they're the same, but oh, I got this for, it was only like £2. I was like, yeah, why not? It's quite nice to have. I got the Blood Harvest one, and it does look quite cool. So, awesome film. Really, really, really fun slasher. I uh, heard good things about this. Uh, we have the, the Eyes of Laura Mars. Okay, Dunway and Tommy Lee Jones, not seen it. Um, heard very good things about this. I think it was JP on a 22 Shots gave a really good um, review of it. And the art exploitation films, uh, release of Observance. I'll be checking that one out. Now apparently there's a lot of films coming out from um, Andy uh, Sidaris, 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 yeah Andy Sidaris. So this is like picking them up and this is like the first one of his, I've got his like 16 films or something like that. So this is the, the first one that I've picked up. 
It looks a lot of fun. And then another exploitation film. I'm kind of more carefully bullied into buying this one. Yeah, quite a brutal and depressing film, but it's meant to be really, really good. So no doubt I'll enjoy it. I'm crying myself to sleep after watching it. <laughs> and then from that um, place that did like one pound DVDs, they have two pound new films, and this was two pound, which is it's always quite expensive on Amazon UK between like 15 and 20 quid and this was two pounds so happy to have that one quite a good film I did enjoy that one and last on this pile is <laughs> medium rare release Ricky A the story of Ricky this is a lot of fun I need to read through that booklet but pretty cool right there it's a really nice release it has a, well, a not too fond of that artwork. You can see why I have the other one. Um, uh, the original artwork was um, which is a, a picture of Ricky actually standing up or something like that, looking hard. <laughs> so I do actually quite like this one. So that that's the one that I've kind of kept it with. I just have to lean back for a moment. Okay, my last few films. Again, my buddy Marco has been name dropped. He did an awesome thing for me. Look at that. Rennie Harlan <laughs> got him to sign this for me. There was um, an event. Yeah, it happened when I was out of the, out of the country. Yeah, an event in Finland. And when the cinemas were showing um, Halloween 3. And obviously, uh, Rennie Harlan's. Halloween's uh, Halloween 4. Halloween? Oh, God, I'm tired. Sorry. Nightmare on Elm Street 3. And here's Nightmare on Elm Street 4. So he was there. And he's signing some stuff. And then Marco got the Nightmare on Elm Street 4 poster signed. And then he was super cool and got him to sign this and sent me this movie. Which I actually quite like. Really cool. Idea of the film. It kind of falls a little bit flat at the end, but I still really enjoyed that one. And then next we go, ah, I have a couple of Vestrons. This was in the HMV, they had lot like T for 25. So I thought I'd take a punt on this one. It seems to be quite a popular one from people. Again, kind of pointless slip, but it came with them, so well, whatever. Okay, so we'll check that one out. And this one I saw not long ago on Prime. Really, really enjoyed this film. Really good. I'd heard some good stuff, but it kind of blew me away how good this was. Highly, highly enjoyable film. Highly recommend that one. And then, nah. So I mentioned that Amazon.com, so not UK, it's the American one, and screwed up a lot with one of my orders. They hadn't sent something out, and then I had a really bad custom service. So they gave me loads of vouchers. So the, the front, so I did a black coat's daughter, but then I had to complain about something else. So that was like oh, I can't remember how much, but they ended up giving me like another twenty-five euro, uh, twenty-five dollars, which I threw towards the um, Screen Factory box set, the Rec box set. So that's on its way. So I only had to pay like half, so twenty-five bucks for that, and then uh, Amazon kindly paying for the rest of that one. So I'm really happy for that to be coming soon. The whole issue came about from this one and so as well as giving me the $25 they actually express shipped me this which was $28 for them to ship that so they gave me $25 express this to me for 28 now I only paid 22 for it to start with so god they must be losing a lot of money but beauty release I don't know if the lenticular is coming up so so well on this but still haven't checked this out yet. Didn't have time before I went on holiday. So I'm really looking forward to diving into this bad boy. It's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of quacking going on. And the good thing with this is the slip kind of fits really smoothly. I had that issue with um, the zombie one. But then the Blue Underground were really cool and sent me a new one. After it was spitting. So yeah, really happy with them. 
the next I have my second ever indicator release and actually I have the um, was it the bloody terror box set coming uh, uh, was it Norman J Warren films there on route I believe well no actually there's been a bit of a hold up so they're going to be slightly little delayed but I don't mind they'll be coming at some point soon I think there's five films in that set so this is officially my second one scum which is like a great release a British film people haven't seen this I highly recommend it there's a lot of the borstals in the uh, was it late 60s and early 70s this is a awesome book I have decided to read some of this and it's a really 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 interesting stuff so it's about the like, racial tensions in um, Borstal. So Borstal is a, like a young young person prison, underage prison in the UK. Oh, you can't really see that, but it's just the poster of the cover, and then I think that's the original one. You can't see that too well. A big thing, but beautiful release by them. Uh, I think it's still available. I think there's like something like six thousand, limited to six thousand or something like that, and I can't see that selling out. And this was, uh, I think it's, oh, 8,000. God, yeah, it's never going to sell out. Number <laughs> 218 of 8,000. So I recommend this. One of beautiful hard boxes for like 18 pound or something. So if you're interested in a racially charged film about <laughs> Borstals in the, uh, in the 70s in the UK, I'll give this one a watch. Okay, oops. There we go. Let's just stick that on preview again. So I actually hit up the, um, well, lightly hit up, but I did hit up some of the vinegar syndrome sale for the first time because their shipping is, it's not bad actually. For some reason, shipping from America to Europe is normally over $20. $20. I mean, if you ship the other way, I think like Arrow and 88 Films, they're like really, really, they're like £5 or something really cheap going towards that way. But coming the other way, it's always really expensive. One of the slightly cheaper ones, I think it's about $16, is um, Vinegar Syndrome. But there's a problem with customs. So if it's over like €20, Euros, I think, you get hit with customs charges. But you can have a gift sent to you for like up to €45. Euros. But you can obviously you can plow as many films as you want because they won't really know because it's a gift. So what I did, I bought a, a few films and I got good old Rob from Georgia, uh, fellow buddy on buddy bags, to send them out to him and then he sent them over to me. So really happy that Rob was able to help out there. So I've got a couple of people. Derek helps me out with stuff and now Rob as well. So really grateful there. So the first I got. Yeah, I was saying about slips before, not that fussed, what's the point? But when they're vinegar syndrome, <laughs> but these are actually different. I mean, they're, they're in the same quality, really, really good, but they're different. So it's like, it's really worth it. It's not just like a, a normal, like run of the mill replicating what's on there. So it's actually different artwork. So it's, it's really worth getting. So we have that one for raw force. So the film I already had. I just want to grab hold of the slip. But then the next one, I got the the jewel set. So well, it's two films. So Battle for the Lost Planet and Mutant War. And again, lovely slip cover on this. And it's so we have the artwork there. So it's like a combination of the two films, and obviously they split them up here. And so a lot better than the original artwork. Really, not a fan of that one. Pretty turgid stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so close that one up. Fantastic cover that these do. Oh, and then they bump it up even more. They go crazy with Slaughterhouse. And look at this one. Superb. And it's not one I've seen this one. So you got the different artwork. Again on the inside. Oh, inside. Huh. So it's just got. A, oh, it's just the title. I think the title. 
It's in a different place. And that looks like the only difference. But I was kind of really just intrigued by the box and like how cool it is. And um, apparently these stop selling after the sale. If they didn't sell out, when the sale stops, that's when they stop. So this we can no longer get. And the same with a couple of the others. Raw Force. And Demonoid was another one I got. So again, this is like an older film. And I jumped on and got that. Really nice slip. Nice gloss there. And embossed as well. <laughs> Crazy the detail that they get into. Really enjoyed that film. And another one, it's an anthology that I've not seen. It's House of the Dead. I must admit it's pretty shitty. This cover, it's called Alien Zone, and this is one of the segments of these weird toothed children, killer kids in there. But this one is lovely, lovely set, that one. Maybe one of my favourites. So that's what I got from Vinegar Syndrome. So it's this nice little stack. I mean, it's not something I'll do often from them, but really, really cool getting some of those. So next I got a, I uh, don't think I showed this last time, a uh, Mosquito uh, Synapse. This was so much fun. <laughs> really, really, really cool. Uh, really not too sure of that artwork. Much, much, much happier with, uh, I don't know if this was the original VHS artwork or what, but I like it anyway. And the film was a lot of fun. And then talking about spiders, like Kingdom, of the, Kingdom of the Spiders, with good old Shatner in it. Uh, Code Red release, I only got a few Code Red. Uh, fairly bare bones. Not really much on there, as you can see, but really nice quality. The transfer on it, really crisp and clean. It looked fantastic, so recommend picking that one up. And then one I've heard is bonkers as all hell. Uh, Severin's release of Saint Bernard. Um, so I still need to check this out. This came when I was on holiday. Ah, oh, nice little catalogue from Severin there. I like the Synapse one. Um, I will check it out fairly soon. It's like I said, this came when I was on holiday. And then the last one we've got. Again, name drum, dropping Marco. <laughs> so you had the, the um, arrow sale come on. And I think this is all I got from it, actually. This time. Yeah, yeah, this is all I got. Well... So I got from the sale, but um, I have coming, I've pre-ordered the, the huge Barber set, and today they just announced the, the American Wealth in London limited edition set and the Nightbreed limited edition collector sets. So I pre-ordered both of those. Like I said, also have the Screen Factory ring, uh, no, Wreck box set coming, and the Steelbook Humanoids from the Deep, and Indicators, Bloody Terror, box set so I've got quite a few things like coming but I also like I said picked up this one it's just the uh the standard box set that they just released I'll change all the covers around which is why they're all black I like the, the OGR uh, so it doesn't have the book unfortunately but being half price this was like um I think it worked out like was it 30 pound or something like that and a lot cheaper than trying to get it brand new like from scalpers or so yeah this was in the sale so it's really cool that they did that so that's everything that's the update for now like i said i got quite a few things like coming soon so no doubt i'll actually if i if this looks all right this video and if you guys like it i might continue to do other videos like this so when i get special collectors editions ones yeah i know other people do that but yeah, why don't I try and give it a little go so I can kind of get a, give it a little bit of a show off about like what's come in the post and like how cool the, the limited edition stuff looks. But anyway, that's it for now. Hope you enjoy the update and speak to you guys pretty soon, hopefully. Bye-bye.